Colonel, you've been active duty for over 20 years. Where does this stand in, in all the different types of things that you've worked on? So uh, in terms of emergency response, this is the biggest wildfire that the Corps has ever done in its 250 years. At the end of the day, it's about getting the fire ash debris off their properties so that this community can recover and rebuild. And this mission has been going faster than any one that we've ever done before. Los Angeles County is a big place. 88 cities, thousands of neighborhoods, with nearly 10 million people sprawled across 4,000 square miles. So just how does LA County serve such a vast and diverse region? It's science, from anthropology to zoology and everything in between. The science of protecting county residents, preserving the past, and preparing for the future. I'm David Summers, and today, we're diving into the science behind LA County Services. Welcome to LA Countyology. In January of 2025, the Eaton Fire swept through Altadena, an unincorporated community of Los Angeles County. Nearly 10,000 homes and businesses were lost. The fire claimed at least 18 lives and impacted families across this community. But it's right here at LA County's Altadena Golf Course that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is managing debris staging as this community starts the process of recovering. Today, on this episode of LA Countyology, we're going inside to see how the Corps of Engineers is managing that through science and service. Colonel, we're in the middle of the Altadena Golf Course. This is a county facility around us. You can see bunkers and fairways. This is the middle of the driving range right over here. Why is this a good site for what you're trying to do and, and what you're doing here? What, what it comes down to is essentially efficiency and reducing the number of trucks on the road. Four trucks come in and essentially one truck comes out. Can you give us any sense about how many trucks per day or hour are coming in here? Yeah, so uh, on a normal day, it's probably between 350 and 400 trucks. And so the trucks, they come up here, they get weighed by their truck number. They already know what their empty weight is. And then uh, from that, they, they get credit for exactly how much debris and exactly what, what type of debris it is. So Corey, let me ask you about what types of, of items are coming here and what, more importantly, what items are. There, are there some limitations in what's here and what's not and why? Yeah, for sure. So the only thing that's coming here is recyclable material. So we have recyclable concrete. We have vegetation. You can see the piles uh, right back there where we've already mulched trees that are coming in. And then on the other side, which you can't see right now, are metals. The ash and debris that we can't recycle that might contain some hazards is directly hauled to landfills. Okay. With all these operational logistics, there is an underpinning of science. This is essentially a, a, a working laboratory for all those best practices. What are some of the different sciences that people would recognize or not recognize that are actively going on around us? So at first it starts with the sites, right? We have burned structural debris. So we know in general what we'll, we'll find in there. We'll find metals, dioxins, furans, and other contaminants of potential concern at levels that we don't want to be in the environment. So we have to contain those. So that starts with the wet methods, right? So there's a science behind keeping dust down and we're doing air monitoring out in the community as well as we do that debris removal. It also starts with the science behind doing asbestos sampling. Then there's the, the, the logistics behind traffic control, traffic safety, and traffic flow. Uh, that's an art as well as a science because we really have to work with the community to figure out, one, what is the best way to get there? And the reality is we're gonna use Google Maps, right? It's gonna tell us the fastest way, but may not be the best way for the communities. How do you plan the traffic patterns? How do you plan what goes where? Uh, what kind of logistical planning goes into an operation like this? You know, there's four types of debris that are on a, on a typical property. You have fire ash debris, you have concrete, steel, and vegetative. And then we have to continuously plan for taking that material in here, reducing it in size, and then getting it back out of here, back to the recyclers where it can go back into the supply chain. We're the Army Corps of Engineers. Normally we build large construction projects, and those will take 14 to 15 years to get to completion. 
So uh, the wow moment for me is we'll take a $2 billion project and perform that in six months to a year. So that's the speed and the efficacy that we have to have to make sure that the community is being served appropriately. We've seen today how it's everything from managing toxic debris to protecting air quality to recover this community thoughtfully and safely. For the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, it's as much a science as it is a service. Until next time, as we continue to dive in and dig deep, we'll see you on LA Countyology.